What up, everybody? This is BitWZen with a back down Ichiban Nonsense podcast. Oh. Joining me are my co hosts or my good friends, no longer guests. Let's get that out the way. Uh, hey. <laughs> if you don't love him at his perviness, then you don't deserve him at his creepiness. Minister E. Yeah. <laughs> I'll accept that one. That's <laughs> not that. Next Let's is the woman who's bringing back conservative kitties out the closets. Secret kitty. What? <laughs> what does that mean? You guys got to get into headlines. Like, seriously, you miss ha- like a ton of my jokes just based on the fact that you don't follow headlines. It's, it's a joke on that, like the Roseanne article that she says Roseanne is bringing back conservative women out of the closet or whatever. And it's just like, what a ridiculous statement that, she, that, that was made. So I was like, oh. I usually get most of your jokes, but that one went over my head. Really? It was a whole article about it. Who? Why would you read an article about Roseanne? <laughs> who, who reads the article? Yeah. Or if I... You got to stay up to date on all like pop culture, whether you agree with it or not. Jeez, people. Is that Get out of your culture? bubbles. If it's pop Roseanne culture pop implies culture. that it's popular. It, it was like one of the most watched episodes like, of all time. So I'm pretty sure it's popular. I don't agree. I didn't agree with her, with her or whatever. But like, I mean, I didn't watch it or anything, but I'm just saying it was like. It was popular. Whatever. You were, you were tuned in. <laughs> and it was on Twitter. Like, <laughs> just play with you. And lastly, it was a man who's shown on TMZ throwing a dolly at a bus of USC fighters. The American <laughs> menace, Mazentius, on the East Coast. What's up, guys? That one. It, Did you get Nia Gunner down either? Get. Yeah, that oh one I get. I got that one. Okay, yeah. I'm about to say, like, you guys are really out of it if you don't know about that one. American Menace, I like that. Can I take that title? I guess so. It was just my increasing, increasing like titles from Mez over here. No, we'll leave it to Mez. The All American Gigolo Menace over here. I need to make like a freaking like (laughs) word document of all the nicknames I've had on the podcast. (laughs) Okay, so I guess other than not watching the popular Roseanne, what have you guys been up to then? Or did you see, like, Minutes, did you see that, what, what I was talking about with uh, McGregor? He, like, throwing that dolly at the bus of UFC fighters and all that shit. Apparently, he's, like, apprehended no. now. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. I heard about that. He's yeah. apprehended by the cops, and they, they charge him, I think. I don't know if this is going to lead to something else, another fight or whatever, if uh, whatever Dana White is just going to be done with him. But, yeah, that was a pretty serious shit. Huh. Man, injured a couple of UFC fighters, too. Yeah, he, like, Wait, took so. people out the card. Mm-hmm. Cause like there were wait, he threw a dolly at a yeah, bus. at a bus yeah like through the, the bus window crash like oh. it threw it through the window and like it it went through the window and like I, I guess it would like injured some people on there yeah okay that all right that's how I was gonna say I thought he like threw it on the side of the bus and like bounced oh off no no it, it went through he went through the glass window like this was nuts yeah and by like dolly it's like it's like one of those like hand trucks like the big metal hand trucks yeah oh they're heavy duty yeah <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I gotta look that up. I didn't. I didn't yeah. See. Yep. Apparently, like two, uh, well, like two fights, uh, two fighters were taken out of the card because one got yeah. like glass in his eye, another one got injured. Whoa. Yeah, I think he's injured his arm or something. But yeah, it's a pretty big deal. Yeah. They try to wonder... take some of that. They take some of that uh, Mayweather money back. <laughs> all set up. He don't even care, right? He's like, yeah, he's paid for like a while now. He's like, well, fuck it. The UFC wants to fire him. All right, so yeah, what have you guys been up to then? Uh, let's start off with uh, Mez, I guess. What do you got going on? Um, well, I mean, I didn't, I wanted to go see some movies, but I didn't get to go out this week. Hmm. So what I was actually doing a lot of was um, playing games on the Switch. Okay. So I was like, I was looking for all this stuff to play. I was playing, still playing uh, Mario Odyssey. I started playing Breath of the Wild more. Mm-hmm. Man, that game was fucking huge like <laughs> there's so much to do and it's so weird having a game that's so open in like mm. a zelda game because it, it is like the old style where like you can do whatever you want like they don't really give you a path like they give you like a kind of um things like oh this is what you want to do next but it's 
a lot of it is open ended, like as far as like the dungeons and the like side stuff you can do and getting heart yeah. pieces and all that stuff. It's not set like a natural progression, like in the open the ones like I'm used to because. I didn't start with like the original Zelda. I started with um, Ocarina of Time. Mm. So like that, like that formula was the one I was used to. But now since I'm going back to like, kind of, I guess like the older one where it was more open ended for you, is like it's a brand new experience for me. Yeah, but uh, it's funny. Yeah, it's like they're restarting the whole kind of like concept of, the, of that series, and it's just bringing it back around. <laughs> yeah, and like it's just there's like so much stuff to do. It's so fun, like just going around the like cooking element to it is pretty cool um what because yeah you could you could, like pick up like um fish or when you kill you can hunt like animals to get meat or you could pick mushrooms or get lizards and stuff like that and you could put them together in different ways to make a meal and the meals could have different effects like it could boost your stealth or it could boost your cold or heat resistance if you go in like a mountain or in a mm. volcano or like some boost like your climbing ability or stuff like that or your attack ability. That sounds good. I like that stuff. Like in all like ended. Yeah, like all the different combinations Survive. they can do. It's like it's really cool. Yeah, like that stuff is so cool to do. Um so I've been having like a lot of fun like not progressing in the game but just doing other shit. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the random stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like stuff like that. That sounds good. That's for the Switch? Yeah. Okay. Only, my friend. That that catalog is building up, Minister. Maybe uh. time to look into a <laughs> Switch. Well, I'm, I, I need, like, more mass multiplayer games. I want to commune. Mm. They got the Dark Souls coming like out with the, with the new feature, with the online feature. The original Dark Souls coming out with the... With like you know the Dark Souls three online feature, so yeah, that could be good for you. Dark Souls on the go. <laughs> Wait for the Switch. Yeah, because yeah. it's portable. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly convincing Minister. Yeah. <laughs> Man seems to be thinking about something there too. He's like, mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, Switch just went up half. <laughs> just have. and like i know like last time i was say same like i was looking for a game that's like um i don't know if i said on podcast except to zan but like i was looking for a game that's like kind of a shorter game for like short trips and like something because like something like mario or legend of zelda that's a game you're not going to play for 10 or 30 minutes and want to stop it's a game you want to keep going so yeah. I know a game I looked into and actually started playing a lot of is a game called Thumper. And the okay. way they never, never heard of it. The way they think they described it in like in the game info, they called it a like rhythm violence game. And at first okay. I, I heard that, <laughs> I'm like, Well, I'm like I don't understand how those two mix. But when <laughs> when I was playing it, I'm like, I could understand this. Imme- immediately now, <laughs> what they mean? Cause like, you're like dancing and slicing at the same time, so you gotta do like you gotta do a uh, like um button patterns, and then like once you press the right pattern, they do like a movement and start slicing people. No, I mean it's not that way. It's okay. pretty much it's like it is a, a rhythm game in yeah. in a way, but it's um it's the like kind of, kind of like the intensity of it is what brings the violence of it because what you're doing has like a lot of impact so it doesn't feel like a rock band or guitar hero where you're like you're hitting a button and all it does is like light up a little thing it feels like there's an impact when you do something in the game and i guess like that's the violent part of it and there is like boss levels where what you're doing sends out like a wave you have to like complete a perfect combination to send out a wave towards the boss and do to do damage and it's like the classic rule of three and you have to like hit them three times in order to end the boss phase yeah, and man, I mean, I've like I'm a big fan of rhythm games. Like I said, like um, with Guitar Hero, Rock Band, like that kind of stuff. I used to love. So this one, like the whole rhythm thing, got me into it. But man, if if this game doesn't frustrate me sometimes, it and <laughs> in a good way, because it's not like it's cheap. It's all doable, 
but it's so frustrating to get something perfect because like they have like ranks at the end of, of each section, so you can get like an A rank or B rank or or a S rank, and I'm just never satisfied unless I get an S rank, and to do that you have to be absolutely perfect. But like, the I'll, I'll like retry a stage like probably like twenty times. To the point, like I think the game knows you would do it, because they can you can shortcut a a button to restart. So they're like, we know you're gonna restart this game so much that we give you a, the option to shortcut a button to restart the, the levels. Mm-hmm. But that sense of like accomplishment when you actually get it, it feels so good. <laughs> so like that that game has like quickly become one of like my favorite like quick games to play on the oh. switch the yeah but it's it's so much okay. fun for me it's one of these kind of games okay it's like one of those like on rails like uh yeah oh yeah i have seen this game actually. it kind of reminds me of, like, i don't know if you guys ever heard of like Ampl- amplitude or something like that where like yeah. it's on like rails kind of like that kind of way mm. but that game yeah, I have seen this has one. been like yeah. a ton of fun for me and I know it's like, I think it's on like other uh, things as well, like Steam. It is, yeah. Because uh, I think I've seen like the Funhouse guys play this one. It's like, so yeah, it's like an on the rail like race. Like it's like a uh, it's like a bug, <clears throat> but it's like a car that you mm-hmm. just driving straight forward and looks like you have to shoot at some big triangle vagina or something. I don't know. It looks weird. It it looks <clears throat> weird, but it's is it a game that you're fun. trying to get back into the vagina? You trying to plant? Your bug seed inside the vagina. So that oh game's God. a metaphor. That's why you like it. Why are you always trying to find metaphors in games oh that like, make no sense? Somebody's <laughs> always trying to put some kind of message in games. You I don't just make you. games. For you, games. Look, you look for messages in games that aren't there. No, those things are there. They're put in there for a reason. No. Um, I know another game I was checking out though on the PS4 was uh, Ruiner. Have you guys heard of that one? Yes. I've seen gameplay of that one. It's so fucking red. It's so fun. <laughs> so it's another game. Like, <clears throat> it, I saw you playing it. I saw you like you uh, streamed it for a while the other day. Yeah, I was trying to stream it. But, like my internet was not cooperating with me that day. But I want to mm-hmm. try doing that one again. But it's um like uh, isometric top down twin stick shooter. So mm. it it kind of like reminds me of like um Fury in a way or like those types of games. Yeah. But the way you could like the guns they have, the um, weapons they have, and like the way all that stuff goes together, it, it was a lot of fun when I was playing it. And like, it just feels like it has like the whole combo meter going to see how many you you do. And like something about it, it just feels really fun to play. I like, I always like those like kill the boss. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Like, yeah, I've seen like people play that game. It looks pretty crazy. Yeah. But it's so red. It's a, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean? You mean literally? Red? It's like yeah, like it, it's like uh, the color scheme of it. It's just like red and black, and it looks like you're staring at a Kenny Rogers roasted chicken sign or something like that. Like that. <laughs> Freaking... <laughs> yeah, but it's I mean it's a Valve digital game, so I don't know if you guys know them, but they they usually put out pretty yeah. good games. It's pretty. They're pretty solid. Yeah, they're the ones I think they they did the Hotline Miami stuff, right? Yeah. So. If you've seen that, it's kind of like in the same vein of that, oh. except it's, it's not as bright and colorful. It's more just I think red. I've seen you play that yeah. on your, your personal channel, right? That was like, yeah, years ago. A long time ago. Yeah. yeah. I remember, though. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, it, that's the kind of like uh, the kind of same time, the top-down view that Mez was talking about. Oh, it's okay. Kind of like, okay. well, not exactly top-down, but it's like a little bit off to the side. Yeah. Kind yeah. of like how dungeon crawlers are. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Like, and I know I think I sent you, I sent you guys the link for um, a trailer. Oh yeah. For a movie called Upgrade. I know Zanny. I think yeah. I think Minister would get a kick out of that kind of yeah, that movie. Like, Zanny Kitty got a chance to see. Did you get a chance to see it? Upgrading uh, Minister. I did not. But so I guess I'll give like the kind of basic <laughs> premise. It's like the guy was uh, like par- a quadriplegic, and they had like this device where it would kind of like give him the ability to use his body again but the device came okay. with like its own sentience uh, i think i might have seen a preview for it so. but like the it's the action they had in it 
and like the camera work they put in that trailer looked really cool. In fact, like the story looked pretty interesting. Like they gave like the um, that AI thing, I guess. Like he can give him the right to take over the body and just, like be like a badass killer. Uh, like that, and, like the the stuff they showed in the trailer looked fucking gruesome. At least the one. Yeah, actually, it looks like, like it was like like one. a looks like it's like black comedy kind of stuff. Like the way that he was like yeah. the way he was like slicing people or like yeah. the way he, like his movements, the way his movements were when he was like fighting that guy. It looked like like a stiff like fight or whatever. And he was just like moving along like. Yeah, like, I have a knife too, and he was just like stab, 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 and stuff like that. I was like, yeah. this is like pretty ridiculous. And then like the gun in the hand, I was like, what the fuck? Like, there's no way this movie's like serious. Man, put yeah. a gun inside of himself, and <laughs> yeah. he's like, and he's like, sh- like he's like Iron Manning, uh, like a freaking gun out and stuff like that. Like he's putting his palm out to shoot, and it's like coming out of him. I'm like, this is gonna be ridiculous. Like this is like yeah, like coming black comedy style. I think. Yeah, that it reminds me a lot like of that, where it's like comedic action type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really cool. Those guys I'd at Bloom House, they're pretty good. Like, they, I know they're they're good at coming out with movies and stuff. They they have another one coming out, the Truth or Dare one, that looks like kind of in the same vein, where it's like, it's supposed to be a horror thing, but it's about Truth or Dare stuff. So I, mm. I think it's like it has that same kind of element of like black comedy, where it's like yes, or like uh, they also did the Happy Death Day one. It was kind of the same thing where. Every day she woke up. It was like Groundhog Day, except that she died. She was going to get killed every day, so she had to figure that out. Oh, yeah. Was that know. good? Did you watch that? Uh, it, it, it was okay. I didn't see, like, all of it. It was kind of, like, you know, a little bit ridiculous, whatever. But it it was all right, you know. Mm. It wasn't, like, you know, it's not going to blow your mind away or anything like that. But, yeah, it was crazy. It was pretty yeah. right. Yeah. Mm. I, know. Okay. I know. There was another trailer, too. I don't know if I – I don't think I sent you guys this one. <clears throat> but the movie called um, – I think it was Tag. And oh, is that the one with the uh, Hawkeye in it, uh, Jeremy Renner? Yeah, it's like Jeremy Renner and yeah. um, I think uh, this guy from Mad Men is in it, right? Who is that? Um, the main guy? Yeah. Oh, uh, John Hamm. John Hamm. I think he's in I it too. I didn't see him. Might have seen another one then. I didn't see him in that one. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong person. But yeah, that that's another one that looks like a really interesting movie. It looks like a really fun movie, and especially in the fact that like, it said. It's like inspired by a true story, or like based on what? true story. I'm like, is there really like these people yeah. that play tag for like thirty years or whatever it was? Oh yeah, that is true. Really? That is absolutely true. Yeah. Oh my god. Huh. I actually read an hilarious. article about that. That is true. Then like uh, Jeremy Renner's character is like he's never been tagged the whole time. Oh, it is John Hamm. He's in his movie. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah a whole bunch of people in here. Yeah, that's that's another one that looks pretty interesting. Um, uh, let's see, and I think that that's about it. I didn't do too much else this week. Now I'm doing like some of the wrestling stuff, but might get into that another time. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go next then. Change it up. Um. So for my week, I got into I got back into Yakuza Zero, and I'll talk about it. Um. Before, but like it was kind of like on the same thing as what Mez is doing, like like uh, how you're just questing or like just doing stuff in uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. This game is kind of the same way because it gives you so much to do. Yeah. That you don't really have to do the the, <clears throat> the main mission at all. Like there was one point where this character, Majima, like he, he has like a side quest where he has to like run a business and it's like a cabaret club. And you get to do like everything in this when, when it comes to the aspect of that, that club. Like you get to choose the girls you get to make them over, which was fun. Like it, my wife was like getting like super involved in like dressing these girls up <laughs> and putting makeup. Like you go everything. Like, you you select like, the nails, the hair, and this is a, a game Damn. about like crime bosses and stuff like that. And you're you're dolling these girls up, and then you get to go on dates with them. And like it's like a date simulator <laughs> where like they, they ask you stuff. Like because like you know they had to like learn how to talk to customers, so you take them out on dates to like so they can learn how to talk to customers. And like it was fun. Like you know like that kind of aspect of the game where. You know, it wasn't just about fighting or, like, crime bosses or Yakuza or anything like that. It was just, oh, yeah, I'm just going to do this thing. Then you open up the club, and you have to match the girls with the right customer that walks in. Like, you have to make sure they're happy, and you get money from them and stuff like that. I was doing that for hours. Like Holy shit. That, that's, that and, like, <laughs> that's funny. Like, I didn't, even ha- I didn't even, like, progress in the game at all. I spent, like, probably, like, five hours just doing that portion of the game until I was like, okay, I have to. I think I have to. I can keep doing this. 
Yeah. Like, I'll have to just, like, progress for the sake of, like, getting through this game. Because if not, I'm going to just be stuck doing this for the rest of it. Like, I know a part of that is probably me. But there's so much other stuff to do. Like, you can, like, play pool. You can play darts in this game. You can, like, watch erotic videos. I don't know why that's in there, but you could. Yeah. <clears throat> that's seen, also a mission for some reason. I've seen, like, that, like the karaoke place, too. Which is, like, a rhythm-based thing. Like, the, yeah. uh, the, you have to, like, time the buttons. So, like... Or you can yeah. go to discos and like that's another like rhythm game you have to figure out and it's like different stuff it's not all like the same thing like oh you just have to press the same buttons each each like um little uh like game or whatever has its own mechanic to it so i'm like this game has so fucking much and then you know yeah you can just go beat the shit out of guys and stuff later on <laughs> and it's so funny because like these guys are like presented as these big tough like serious like yakuza men or whatever <clears throat> who are going around hunting and killing other guys and then they're out there like singing and dancing and going on date simulators and like talking about all this weird stuff there's a guy in there called mr libido who just like he's like <laughs> he's like grinding all over the place it's a really <laughs> weird freaking game but it's Look, fun man, you can't be a badass 100 percent of the time <laughs> <laughs> um but another fun game i got into is warframe <laughs> warframe yeah <laughs> I, I hear the groans and the moans, but <laughs> I'm assuming you guys didn't get into it as much as I did. I I was look, surprised to see you still all that guy's like this did he leave his I enjoy it. on or something? I enjoy the game. Like, still on. Like, I enjoy this game. <laughs> Minister and I had to talk about it yesterday. I enjoy this game because like it has depth to it. Like as far as the, the, the character creator, the weapon system, it ha like is it an easy game yes it is easy it does get like you know as you progress it, you know the, the, it does scale up but in the beginning yeah you're like you're, you're running through these guys like paper but i don't mm. think it takes away enjoyment from the game like you know it doesn't it doesn't have to like break your soul in order for me to enjoy it you know like other games and stuff uh i think it, this is a pretty fun game it has a lot of depth to it which is what's surprising like you have to like get the blueprints for your weapons or your outfit like you can change almost everything in this game you can change your like your headpiece you can change your suit you can change the color for each separate item of that you can make any kind of character you want with all these weapons you have bow and arrows machine guns pistols one pistol dual pistols you can have like you know uh, freaking kunai shurikens you have all this kind of shit swords twin swords axes hammers like they have a lot of shit you can like go into and then you can like change the skin for each item that you have too so there's a lot of stuff in there I think and that's pretty cool. I don't think the the game lies in its difficulty. I think it's just about being a badass fucking ninja with cool weapons and looking cool and like but slicing the, through people all the time. The game loses fun factor to me because of how easy it is. It's nice to have all is, these weapons, but you can essentially just waltz through the game. So the this is something time. I wanted to bring up. That's something I want to bring up because me and E was talking about this and I thought it'd make a good like conversation. Does if does the game's difficulty like add to its fun factor? Like, does a game have to be increasingly difficult in order for you to enjoy it? I don't think so because games like Mario are not really that difficult, and people like Mario Odyssey was one of the most popular games of last year, and it wasn't even that difficult. It was super easy. No, but if it's hmm. too easy, it takes away. A game doesn't have to be like difficult to the I don't point think where so. like, I think if the game is a solid game, Dark Souls, where it's, it's like, fun. Damn, I'm dead again. Don't control it. It's, it just yeah, needs to it's, be moderately difficult to where it's a slight amount of a challenge. I felt no challenge in Warframe whatsoever. Like, I, felt, like, I can see that as two like different two different types of games you can have fun with. Like, like there is a type of game where you can go in. It depends what you're looking for too, because there's a type of game like Mario. Like he says like you go in, and the fun of it is just like doing the stuff seeing everything and like like moving around but then there's also games you play for the challenge that you get that sense of accomplishment when you win like like you were saying like that dark souls game um yeah. like the game i was explaining uh, earlier like the rhythm games like it's a it's yeah. a challenging game and that's the mm -hmm. enjoyment you get out of it but there there are there there's a space in gaming for games that aren't like so crucially hard yeah. Very essential, but I'm going to pick a side of the fence. I'm going to say, yes, the game does need to be a little bit challenging to have a little bit more fun factor. 
I'm gonna go with that route. Yes, I, 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 I okay. Think I, I, I think that's. I think yeah, that's yeah, just. Yeah, I think that's a personal preference though, because like, yeah. they're like it. I've I've played both. I've played games where like I get enjoyment from it. Like there was a couple a game a couple of years ago, Rogue's Le- Rogue Legacy that Mez put me on. That game oh, was man. difficult, and I got through it. I even put like a couple of things like small videos on it on on Facebook back then, and I got enjoyment out of it. You know, yeah, based on the challenge, but that's not th- th- those aren't the only games I can get enjoyment. I can still get enjoyment from games like Mario or games like Warframe where. Yeah, and maybe in the beginning, it's really, like, easy and stuff like that. Because they, they, like, I feel like this is the kind of game that maybe because it's free, too. Like, if they made it so difficult, they wouldn't have people staying on to play. Like, you have to have a, a, a reason for somebody, for people to stay along, to stay and play this game. Like, it's a new property. It was free. And if you made it Dark Souls increasingly hard, it probably wouldn't attract as many people as it does. Like, you know, when people buy Dark Souls, they know what they're getting into. When they got into this game, they're like, well, if it's going to be too hard, then you know what? I'm not going to waste my time on it. And I think it's still, like, pretty solid in all the other areas. Like, the movements of that game and, like, the the, the mechanics of it. And, like I said, the the customization, I think it's what is where its draw is at. It's not necessarily just being a difficult game. I know it has a lot of content in it. And, like I said, that's a, that's a plus. But for the type of game it is... That easiness mm-hmm. takes away because it's a it's an action RPG game. Like I mean, your character could jump, you know, dash, move around like an action game. A game like that you need a certain amount of difficulty, I think, to be wanting to play through these stages. It's like if but I it does wipe get there. It's... Enemies, no matter how much they surround you, no matter how you know they change the layout or whatever, and I could just figure it out in two seconds. Oh, burned, burned. I'm at the end, back on my ship. It's yeah. It's kind of takes I mean, it, because of the type it of does, game it, it does get there though. It does get there. It's just not in the beginning. In the beginning, it's like yeah, it's really easy. But it does. I can see the game progressing already. Like I'm, I'm not even that far in, and I can see already like there's a small difficulty slider that's that's mm. going up with this game. So it's it gets there, but I just don't think. I think that the developers made a decision not to make it, not to make it so hard in the beginning, because they want to like. Um, they want to like keep the people Try that are playing the game. I will say this. Yeah. I will what do say you, what do you so say? Well, the game, the game is actually good, but in every other aspect. Like, yeah. Even storyline wise, like the storylines is like is kind of interesting. I'm like okay. It's, it's, I want to hear what, uh, what Kitty, what you got to say on on the topic, yeah, like on um, like uh, right. about the game, like not not about Warframe, but on like uh, the question I was asking, like does a game need to be like hard or like what do you think for for? Two? Like when you get enjoyment out of a game, does that factor in? Um, it's hard because I have played games that are like easy, and it mm-hmm. was fun because I played it for. I also play games for like their stories, right? So okay. if it's easy and the story and the story is like still good, or like I enjoy like seeing what happens, then I still enjoy the game. But also, well, what's I don't play extremely hard games anyways, like. Mm-hmm. Dark Souls, and one time I tried to play Lords of the Fall, and I died instantly, and I was like, well, guess this game's not for me, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, okay, maybe one day I'll revisit it and stuff, but I don't so know. So, like, I, so you, you care, it sounds, it sounds like you care more about the story of the game's trying to tell, as opposed to whether or not the game is difficult. So, yeah, if, a game, like, if you know a game has a good story, but if it's, like, really difficult, where where does that put you at then? Do you keep trying, or are you just like, well, I'll watch somebody do it on YouTube? I'll, sometimes I do just watch. Well, I enjoy people watching people uh, play games as well, right? But mm-hmm. more specifically, people I know, not that much YouTubers. Um, mm. But, like, I don't know. Like, so, for example, Monster Hunter, it was hard for me at first, right? And so that it was satisfying to be able to like kill things now by myself, but the story is not good, right? It's like nobody did any of us pay attention to it. I don't really no. think so. Um, no. So like that's the thing. Like I still if couldn't tell little, you what it was. <laughs> if, it's still, if it's still a little challenging, it's it's fine. But like, it just has to be fun. And I don't know. It's the extremely hard things are not fun because it's just frustrating, right? And then if my skill is just not there, it's just not going to happen. I mean, mm-hmm. if I practice a lot, but then <sighs> there's other games to play as well. Like, yeah, it's, it's like, hard. do you want to put your time into the ga- a game like 
like that, yeah. Yeah. I do, however, want to ask, though, because I know that Warframe is free. So mm. what are, where are they making their money? Is there microtransactions? Oh, yeah. Tons there's, like, of micro tons of microtransactions. Um, yeah. This game is I mean, littered with it. I tried to play it one time, but, like, it, let, it literally never loaded, so I gave up. I was like, okay, I guess this game is also not for me, so... <laughs> What do you? What can you buy on there then? Like everything. The main thing is like, much? the main thing is like. Uh, I mean, you don't have to buy stuff. It's just the way to mm -hmm. get all these cool things you want is, like, I want to say it's like tasking, but is 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 complex. I think. Like, I think that's the reason. Because I played the game a long time ago, almost when it first yeah. came out on PS4, and I think that's what kind of turned me off to it because they had like all the basic stuff you can get. Then mm -hmm. at first you you have to like, make. Yeah, first you have to make the blueprints, right? And then you have to find, like, other stuff to make yeah. the... Yeah, you're, you're, you're pretty much on stuff. what you're saying. Like, you, so you have to find the blue... You that find, find the blueprints, or you can, like, make the blueprints for the, the weapon you want. Then you, you have to find the resources to make that weapon. And then once you actually start, like, say, once you get everything, which is not easy to find. I'm not going to, like, sugarcoat it. It's, it's pretty difficult to find a lot of these things. Um... Once you actually do find it, you go to something called the foundry and you put in like the request to have it made. And that can take like hours or, or days or whatever to make it. So you're not going to get it instantaneously, but there are ways you can speed this process up. You can with money. Like, they have their thing called. Yeah, they have a thing called platinum, which is their in-game currency, which yeah. is where uh, the, the real world money comes into play. Because, oh, you can mm. you can speed up the process with platinum. Oh, how do you get platinum? Well, there's the one way to get platinum. Well, not one way. There are other ways to get it. It's just, like, really, like, limited. The main way to get it is the same way, like, you get loot boxes or anything else in any other yeah. game, you know. But it's a free-to-play game, so it's, like, it's kind of like how, like, cell phones do their thing. It's like, yeah, it's a free-to-play game. It's your choice whether or not you want to advance the game like this or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that was the thing that, like, turned me off to it originally. Like, that and, like... Mm. Just when I, for, I don't know, when I was playing it, I just, I just wasn't having that much fun with the actual game. It wasn't even like it was being easy or something like that. It's like, I, I generally didn't find the game fun. Really? You don't find Would it you... fun to be like sliding on your knees and like throwing fucking shurikens at people and busting at their heads? Because that's fun as hell to me. I don't know. Well, like you run like super fast, more you slide. Kind of thing. It's not like you're changing your style of play. You're just constantly. Dodge, Would you consider it? Feels like a repetitive mm. kind of thing. I, I think I, I think that's what makes me feel. Would you consider a pay-to-win game then? Like if no, can you essentially buy everything or speed up the process or whatever? you could, but if, I think pay-to-win might apply more to PvP. This isn't like that mm. kind of game. I don't. Is there it's more, a PvP aspect to? There is, but it's not. It's not like it's kind of how like Destiny does it. It's like you can go to the Crucible and fight. You know, it's not like it's not like you're not thrown into it. You know what I'm like saying? That zombie game where you can kill everybody, take their resources. Which zombie game is that? Um, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but you you can be an asshole pretty much. But yeah, that's that's besides the point. Okay. But yeah, it, it's it's not like like you know like how that like I said, it's how Destiny has the Crucible. Like you have you have to go to the Crucible to do PvP. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. like it has the same thing here. Where like you have to go into the PvP format, but the game on its own, it's just PVE stuff. You mostly does just game... plan up with people and matchmake and you do missions together with people and stuff like that. But does the game auto balance? Cause then can you become, can you become a pay to win in that PVP area? I have no idea. I, I have not like got into the PVP portion. Like I don't think I put enough time to even explore that aspect of it. Yeah. Cause I know I'd get demolished cause I'm, I'm still, I still have like beginner stuff essentially. Hmm. But then, like, you say that about anything, because, like, so is that Destiny 2 as well? Because, like, you can pay to win in Destiny 2, but, like, like there's nothing to win in the Crucible or in these things. You're just, like, you're winning to win, I think. I don't know. Like, like it's not like how in, um... Well, I mean, in Destiny... The Lord of the Rings in Shadow of War or Shadow of Thing, where, like, you pay to win because you're losing something. Like, you lost all yeah. your stuff. Like, that, to me, I feel like is where the pay to win thing is, like, I think factors in more, like... Here is like, yeah, you won the match, but like, you don't get anything for it. 
like maybe in a trophy, I guess, or something. But like, I don't lose anything, so I, I don't give a shit that you had all that stuff. Like, I, I'd care more if it was something where I lost something or like I can't progress in the game because this guy is just they're just buying their armor and their weapons, so I can't progress in my game. So that's where I think yeah. the pay to win really like fucks people up. Well, I mean, I, I feel like any pay to win is like whether you it's for, it fucks up progression or not. It's kind of like the point of it is to win the match. Because if it was like you saying it's like, oh, it doesn't affect you don't win anything for it. You win the match. Like that's the point of playing a PvP thing, a competitive game. But it, I know I, I get what you're saying, but like if there's no like there's nothing to gain or nothing to lose, like. It doesn't really matter to me then. Then, well, like then but you can say that about any competitive game. No, not if you have something to lose in the game, or if you can't progress. There's a difference, I think. So if somebody, if, if somebody, like, if, say, if you're, if you're like, if you're like playing a game like Shadow of War, where if you lose this game, you lose a ton of your resources and shit yeah. like that, and somebody's like jacked up to the gills with stuff that they bought. That's a bigger difference than if you're just like, oh, I lost this guy who's. But let's say let's make in this PVP game that I don't have to do beat me. I lost nothing. He gained nothing. Whatever. Let's say it's a game like it it doesn't. It's not in Overwatch. But say it was like Overwatch where you can buy something in Overwatch and you can get like a two-hour attack boost on all your guns. It's like you're not winning or losing anything. It's just a game. But that's yeah, but still that's pay to win because that's that's a different thing because the main purpose of Overwatch is to be a multiplayer game, so that's hindering the game. It's a different thing. If there was a if 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 there was a PVE element in Overwatch where I don't have to go PVP, and the main game the main source of the game is not PVP, that's different than like Overwatch where yeah the main point of the game is a PVP format. That's that, again, this is different stuff. So you're so excusing it just because there's a PvP, a PVE element to it? I'm not excusing it because of that. I'm saying it doesn't, like, it, it's a thing where you have to, like, <laughs> go it, out of your way to get it. Because, like, it's not. I mean, because it, it, it's still, a, the fact that it has PvP in it makes it a PvP game, whether or not they have a PvP element to it. But that's not the main point of the game. It's the thing but that's it is, in there. But it's like, in the game, nonetheless. Okay, but it's not a PvP game then. Like I, I, I don't understand what like how you're saying. Like there's a difference where like Overwatch how it's it's focused around that, as opposed to this game where or like um, or like Destiny Two where, the main source of the game is doing the missions. It's not the Crucible. The Crucible is just a thing there. Do you, is that the same? Would you consider the same thing then? Like is that a PvP? I mean, I guess it has PvP factors in it because or elements in it because it has the Crucible in it, but it's yeah. not a PvP game. You could totally play the game without ignoring the Crucible. Yeah, but even in in Destiny, they balance the Crucible. I don't I said I already said I don't know how the balance features are in Warfare. I haven't done it yet. I don't know, but like you know, I would imagine that they did do it if they if they want to have a good sense about you know uh, sense for their game. But to me personally, it, it, in that kind of like environment, yeah, it wouldn't matter. I'd be like, all right, whatever. Like, I, I'd get pissed if I if I had to face somebody who, who bought all their shit. But it it probably wouldn't last with me as much as if it, if I had like a game where I lost resources or I couldn't progress in it. Uh, I I feel I feel like even with that, it would still bother me if there's. Even that element of PvP and someone can get an advantage by buying something. Uh, Dan, I don't know what to tell you. Then that's that sounds like you have a personal thing with it. Then you just want to win. No, you, know? I, you want you want a fair <laughs> playing ground. If you're gonna play a PvP game. Why? Well, you know what? Why don't you why don't you pop in Warframe, go into the PvP element, and see if it balances <laughs> it out for you? Because I don't know yet. I can I can check it and see. And report back and see what happens, but I don't know yet. So it sounds like you're just getting mad at, at this game, and you you don't even we don't even know what the full answer I'm, is. Yet. I'm going by what you told me. <laughs> I, I told you I don't know though. I, what let's I told you all, was I don't know. Let's all agree I haven't done to it yet. Disagree on warfare frames. Uh, it's an opinionated game. Should, it's got a lot. To be continued. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's going on for a while. I know. I didn't think so. He got into this thing, so I was like, "Oh, I, hold on, like, I gotta get into it." Zan, are we gonna <clears throat> say that the consensus is you are the only one out of all of us that likes Warframe? I guess so. 
<laughs> I guess so. All That's right, fine, man. whatever. Um, shit, I don't even know if I'm bringing my last topic. Um, oh. <laughs> I was going to bring up that I watched Ready Player One. Oh. <clears throat> I bring just that watched up. that movie. Bring it up. We want to hear how good this thing is. Is it great? Yeah. I w- it should be. Yeah. It's supposed to be great. It's supposed to be a so, great movie. I watched this day. movie that was that was hailed as the Black Panther for gamers. Wow. Mm. And wow, that's, that's bold. <clears throat> that's what somebody said. I, All right. I, another article put that out there. Uh-huh. And yeah, and I, I know I messaged you guys, and I didn't want to like get too much into it, but what I said to you guys was that this movie was made with an audience in mind, and I don't think we as a group like qualify for it. Um, oh, God. This movie was kind of like it, it. It deals with a lot of like. First of all, I want to say what 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 was good about it. The visuals were really good. Mm-hmm. Like the visuals was good. The nostalgia stuff was good. It had like a ton of like characters in there and stuff that were like, oh wow, this person's in there and stuff. But so if I don't you think play this any was a movie that was. See a yeah, if you play any video okay. games, you might see your character in there. Like, oh yeah, there's this thing in here. That's cool. You know, or not even video games. It has like, you know, a ton of other stuff in there. Like a ton of pop culture items. Like, yeah, it's you know, an iron giant. Like, yeah, Iron Giant. Yeah, they had like Voltron. anime stuff in there. Oh. Um, it wasn't Voltron. It was a Gundam. Oh, was it? Um, okay. Oh, yeah. hey, you know what, man? Uh, hang on now. Those, those could be almost considered spoilers. Now. No, those were in the trailers. Yeah, those were in the trailers. Mm-hmm. So oh, I'm not. Are? I'm. I'm making sure. Yeah, I'm making sure I'm not stepping on any bounds. Those were all in the trailers. So. Yeah. All right. Um, but I think this movie was more made for people on like the outside of these of the pop culture. This a pop culture bubble, not for those of us inside of it. Like it, it tackles a lot of like surface level um, items when when it comes to like that kind of stuff. Like mm-hmm. it doesn't really dig deep into it, which is what made me a little bit disappointed in the movie. Like it, it's all just like surface level. Like if you want to just have like surface level fun, you know, if you want to like just lower your expectations and not <laughs> think a lot, you know, yeah. this is the kind of movie that. You you, wow. you can watch. You know you don't have to think at all when you're watching this movie. That's like, not good. the story. Wow. The story is like, yeah, the story is not what you're gonna go in there for with this movie. You're gonna go in to see cool shit happening, and <laughs> that's it. It's a very like A plus B equals C kind of storyline. Basic. You know, there's a very the yeah basic black and oh, white no. evil versus good. You know, uh, yeah. evil corporation <sighs> stuff. That that kind of thing. It's not deep at all. It's all That's surface level way. stuff. All that, all the, the nostalgia stuff that was kicked in there was like, yeah, that's cool. Kind of cheesy at times, like the way they talk and stuff. Like they do that whole, like, you know, like lingo and stuff. Like where there's like, oh, like, you know, what games have you played? Oh, I played GoldenEye. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, God. Like, I don't know. I found that really cringy, that stuff. Um, oh, like they're testing them? Like, they're, yeah, oh, they're how, testing. How... they're testing their, yeah. How much of a gamer are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. that kind of like situation. I'm like, oh, why do they do this stuff every time? And it's yeah. like, it, it, you can tell it's like the writers adding that in there mm. to say, we get it, we get your culture, and it's like, we don't, <laughs> we don't, uh, we're a, cool non, a non-video yeah. game player was writing these lines, is what I'm getting at. That's what it seems yeah. like. Oh no. I mean, it was directed by Spielberg, so it, it has those Spielberg elements where it's like, yeah, okay, it's an it's an all right movie, but. Over just overall, it was kind of just disappointing for me. Like I said, if you if you don't care about the plot or story, then I think people would enjoy it. You know, I don't want to get too so, much into it without ruining. So, uh, would you say it was a disappointing honestly, movie? Honestly, not much to ruin. Was it, was it disappointing because it was like a bad movie, or because you were it wasn't what you were expecting out of it? <sighs> it's it's hard for me to say it was a like a bad movie because. It was probably more the, the latter, I guess, of what what you said. Um, what I was expecting from it, yeah. Just mm-hmm. like being the kind of person I am, and what I thought this movie was gonna be. Never having read the book, I want to like, you know, put that out there, clarify that I never read the book. So yeah, none of us here read. So yeah. So <laughs> I, I was when, when I saw the trailer and when I heard, <laughs> you said none of us here read. I read <laughs> <laughs> comic books. <laughs> I. I haven't read as much lately, but I I used to read a lot. What was the last time you read, Kitty? Yeah. I like last year I read Jurassic Park. Hmm. Last year yeah. I read the Man Man in the High Castle. Yeah. Oh. I read The Martian. We all read yeah, something, so. but <laughs> not, not frequent. <laughs> not yeah, frequent. I, yeah. I read some bills. <laughs> 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 Uh, all 
like, come on, what you were saying, man? No, uh, like, I'm just saying that, um, uh, yeah, it was more about what I expected the movie to be, yeah. having never read the book, and I was just like, oh, okay, like, I thought maybe they might tackle some issues, and it was kind of like, oh, no, this is just a very, like, you know, A plus B movie, um, like I said, it's a Spielberg movie, so it's hard for me to be like, it's bad, because there wasn't, like, if I think about it, there weren't really elements of it that was just bad, it was just nothing new, mm-hmm. and nothing, like, overly interesting it was just the only thing that kept me into it was like when they were in the vr world and stuff and i was like this is this stuff is it looks great it looks pretty cool was it I at like least like a done. fun movie it was fun like I, yeah. I, I i told minister yesterday it's a good like date movie i guess if your girlfriend doesn't really care about video games either like she might get a kick out of this stuff or your boyfriend doesn't is not really into games and you are you take your boy and like oh wow you know there's so and so, there's this person there. I know that guy from this show I used to watch when yeah. I was young. Kind of like that. Like, if if you if both you and your significant other are gamers, you might kind of like roll your eyes a couple of times, like I did. Yeah. Watching this movie. Um, but yeah, I don't. It, it, I would watch this over Justice League. I'll say that again. Like, I mean, <laughs> wow. I'd watch this again over Justice League. But. Yeah. But that's I mean, it. That's what it. it sounds thing. like. I, I don't. It sounds like you're saying like <clears throat> it's not bad, but just don't expect. Anything don't like expect yeah 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 like you want to see this awesome What's, movie Goose. yeah if you go with low expectations you'll be fine if you're you know you'll be fine take your yeah take your brain out of your head and just enjoy the movie i guess oh god <laughs> that's kind of a heart rate well uh well i will get more into it once everybody's watched it and then we can like, discuss it yeah. freely and stuff I, like i said I, there, there isn't gonna be much to spoil you like the story is pretty basic but i don't want to take Take it, away, take away anything from you guys, so you can uh, yeah. enjoy it. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, that's me, um, Minister. What you got? All right, so I saw quite a bit of uh, movies. I was doing the Netflix thing, and I seen a movie called The Titan. I don't know if you guys have seen any previews for it. So I saw it on there, but I never watched watch it. Yeah, they're transforming this dude into a an alien, pretty much, to make them mm-hmm. live on another planet. So they, they have to try to adapt the human body to be able to survive in a different environment. And the movie has a great premise. Like, it has, it seems like a good story, but there was no passion in the movie. Like, it, oh. feel, it felt really dull. Like, the stuff happening, like, you could see somebody die. And then for some yeah. reason, the way they directed the movie, it kind of like, don't really feel anything for it. There's supposed to be like a heartwarming scene, but I don't feel anything. That's like most of the movie. I don't understand. Like I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Like I might have to watch it again. But it's just like anything that happens on screen. I don't know if it's the, it has to be the director because the story is good. It's just you don't feel anything from serious events happening on screen. Uh, another thing I saw was Legends of Tomorrow. Let's talk about that DC <laughs> It's a DC show, yeah. right? It is. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. oh okay, yeah. I, was, I know I remember that one. Well, I remember the title from somewhere. So here we go. My synopsis. Weak. Mm-hmm. Very weak. Wait, what? It's weak. It's too basic. It's like... I don't think that's what that word means. Here's, okay. here's the cool guy. It's like, here's the cool guy. Here's the guy that's awkward. Here's the guy that's just... It's just like everybody has their role and Mm -hmm. you just feel like you're watching people just going by the numbers. Oh, here comes the uh, the cool Mm -hmm. freaking uh, criminal dude that's going to put in his two cents now. The the bad turn of dialogue, everything just seems boring. So (laughs) that's why I said it's it's like it's a basic formula. The visuals are kind of cheesy so that's my take on legends oh. of have you watched that show kitty yeah i have it's what you think about uh, so it's like you watch it with low expectations <laughs> okay. um, and low and then it's okay uh, it's like i don't know so it's it's a little more like it takes itself less seriously than like the other ones like Gotham, well, that's on Fox, but like, what is the other one? Um, Flash, right? Oh, and Flash, and Green Arrow. Green Arrow. 
Both Gotham Gotham and Flash is better than those shows. (laughs) Better than Legends of Tomorrow, by the way. So those take themselves more seriously, right? This one, I I can tell that they, like, kind of how... I'm not saying it's, like, good like Buffy, but, like, kind of how they had, like, some comedy in there, too. Like, they don't take themselves too seriously. Um, and then, I don't know, I think it's cool, obviously, that's, like, not Justice League cool, but it's it's still cool to see, like, teams and stuff, right? And then the story is, uh, well, over the place. It has to do with a lot of time travel. So I'm like, it's kind of cool, and then it's kind of like, what? But I enjoyed watching it. I watched, like, the two seasons that are on Netflix, and then I don't think they've updated with the last one. And I, like, watched them consistently. I really, I did, like, enjoy watching it, but it's not, like, the best show ever. You're a DC girl, so you like that. But, but I mean, like, uh, yeah, but, like, even I could recognize that, like, it could have some real improvement, but, like... (laughs) Like I like what, how I said they don't take themselves really seriously. I think they tried at first, and then they're just like, "This is us now. This is what we're gonna be." This so, kind of not very serious show. It sounds like that show is like the redheaded stepchild of like that CW universe. It's like the one is like, "Ah, eh, I guess you exist." Yeah. Everyone always always talking about Flash and Arrow being like the big like, DC TV series. Is when they first started like now i don't know if people are still as into it but legend of tomorrow was always the one they're like all, on the side they're the b-list the b-list heroes and they put them I, on the team, which is a good premise it's a smart thing that they yeah but yeah the I show guess. itself is it's it's, it's it's too good it's like by the rules hmm. i haven't watched any of those so i don't really i don't, can't really say anything about either one i haven't watched flash arrow or and I don't get into CW superhero yeah. shows. Honestly, I don't even get into any of the superhero shows except for the Netflix ones now. So <laughs> I would say, like, I, I did watch um, Flash and Arrow, and like the first two mm. seasons of Arrow were good. That's yeah, about were. it. I, I don't know how they're still going now. And Arrow, the first season was okay. I, I've never been. I mean, not Arrow, Flash, and but I've never been like a big Flash guy in general, even with comics. Mm-hmm. So I guess it was okay but i was i wasn't really a fan of the show too much Uh, arrow like the Uh first two seasons even like just as a a show there was a really it was a really good show yeah first season i agree with you was pretty good okay but i also saw uh just a lot of dc uh i also saw supergirl i'll tell you this yeah I'll tell you okay. this. It's better than Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah. But. Uh. But. But. It feels unimportant. Like, the whole storyline is pretty much, like, about her PR. About how the public sees her. That's pretty much the storyline. Like, it's. I know that, that everything doesn't have to be about saving the world, but. It's like, mm-hmm. Her care is just about how people feel. That's. It's just kind of put the whole show in the trash bag. The acting is good. The actors on the show are actually pretty good. It's just that yeah. story. <laughs> but, yeah, well, oh yeah, she wants to be just like Superman. She wants to live to life and just like Superman. Thumbs down on that hero right off the bat. <laughs> like, no one could follow behind that stuff. Yeah. I haven't heard uh, any good things about Supergirl. Like I said, I it's, want... it's not good. I don't. It's, I don't think it's good. But I think I could watch that more than Legends of Tomorrow, just because Legends of Tomorrow is just too basic. It's just got going through the numbers. Did anybody I... watch that um, sci-fi show Krypton that came out? Oh, I, know I, I forgot about, it. I, about that. I talked. No. I think everybody else did too. I don't know, but yeah, I, I, I heard previews back in the day. That, that, that was yeah, something. I don't even know how it did. I haven't. I didn't check it out, so I was just wondering if you uh, got a chance to, Kitty, or uh, me, uh, Minister, since you're on this DC kick. Yeah, I, I did. <laughs> mm. uh, and also, the other show I saw, this is going to be my, my main topic. I saw the movie uh, Unthinkable with Samuel Jackson and my girl, Harry Ann Moss. Oh, okay. It's when uh, pretty much the, the story is that there's... 
a nuclear bomb or several planted in the U.S. and this guy wants to make a statement. And it has that morality borderline where what's more important, you know, to destroy this guy's rights and torture the crap out of him, get the information, mm-hmm. or still show him some humanity and risk letting these bombs go off. Because, you know, throughout the whole... I'm not going to give it too much away, but the whole movie is morality charge. It's a morality charge through and it's good. It's really good. I recommend anybody watching it. The but needs re- of the many. The needs re- of the many. <laughs> so, and that's what I, I, I want to do. I want to, the one. I want to ask everybody <clears throat> the question, uh, because this movie is best to watch in a group or with somebody yeah. to argue with. If you know that you, you got somebody out there that always goes against what you believe, probably need to watch this with them yeah. and you enjoy the movie more. So yeah. my question is, you know, just in the same story, would you destroy someone's rights? Yes. For the bigger, absolutely. For the populace of the people, right? Just for the numbers yep. of people that. I'm not Batman. I this. will absolutely torture that motherfucker. Destroy, <laughs> destroy someone's life it, for the masses. Yes. yes. So, uh, so Zach, we got the many outweigh the needs of the one. <laughs> See. For me, I used to be like that. Yeah, I used to be like that too, where I was like, let's save the world. But recently, Mm. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be a little bit more selfish. And Mm. I would save the one person. So, this is just. For me. (laughs) Go ahead. Like everybody else. (laughs) Just kidding. Oh, Lord. Let the ball (laughs) burn. This is her, her, yeah. (laughs) Okay. This is her, like, uh, her evil villain uh, origin story, apparently. I How always do kids without the world. Disguise, I know, <laughs> I knew, but like I'll save you world for one million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like recently, I've been trying to like because I don't know. It's like it screwed me over. Like trying to be like that person, right? Like to care mm. for other people and like the world. But like, mm. I, you're invested most in your happiness, and like if it's like one person or the others, well. Looks like it's gonna be that one person. What about you, Zach? What do you say? How would I, yeah, say I said it. Mess. What, what about you, Mess? Oh. I mean, it's for me. It doesn't mean the same thing. Like, like what Zan said. It's like the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, or the one. Yeah. In this case, the one. Yeah. Yeah. Especially okay. it's uh, yeah. Well, it's the so, whole trolley. It's the whole trolley situation, right? It's like in that 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 trolley. It's like a, a question about morality. It's like. If there were, if you're on a trolley and it's going towards, and like, uh, how you call it, there's like one person on the road and you can't, like, you can't stop the trolley, you can either like divert it so that it scales off and like kills a whole bunch of people or whatever, or you stay on and you just run over this person or something like that. Like, yeah. what would you mm-hmm. choose? Do you know that person though? So that, that, and that's, here's yeah, the thing that, that's, that's where stuff, I was going that's to. That's all, yeah. That's yeah. where I was going to, Kitty. So that's where I'm on Kitty's side. I am selfish. Huh. If me, if me and mine are safe, <laughs> then forget the rest of the world. <laughs> but yeah, and uh, because I, at the same time, could you watch like one of your loved ones in that same situation for the needs of the many? And that's why I that's why I kind of draw the line. I'm like, yeah, I, I this will. This is why I'll you're in my that. cult. Yeah. If, <laughs> if it's the entire world, and that means yeah, my entire family and everybody else is going to go. Yeah, I do the torture, but I I, I am selected. If my yeah. people are safe, I'm probably not going to go I'm, to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Like, yeah. <laughs> So we so the, the Ichiban nonsense. We're split in half. It's split in half yep. on this one. Split in half. Sad that Once they again. say torture him to, to the utmost while being kidding is like. Me and you are villains. <laughs> yeah, we are. We are 100%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was gonna say too, like, I, I remember, like Zan, you mentioned like that um, that trolley thing. I don't know there was, yeah. there was a while ago where there was actually a website that would ask like a bunch of questions like that, and mm-hmm. I think it was um, designed to like to kind of go towards um, the AI driving uh, type thing. Oh, okay. Like it was a mass. It was a mass project to get like what every like normal people's thoughts 
on situations like that. Like, if there were, like, four people in the car and there's one person crossing on a red light, it's like, and the car's brakes aren't working, should the car drift off to the side to save that one person, even though it'll kill the four people in the back or in the car? Or should they hit the one person because they're crossing the light at the wrong time and you know, like, that person is going to die? Like you know my like, answer. If I know him, save that one person. Yeah, or like <laughs> the question is like, if there's one person in the car and the sidewalk, is, I mean the crosswalk has like four people in it, uh, is like, is it would it affect you if the four people on the, that crosswalk or it was four people in the car, four people in the crosswalk, would it affect you if the four people on the crosswalk were older or if they were little kids? Yeah. It's like questions like that. Yeah, of, like, a bunch of stuff like would like what about? Like that stuff comes with. Because E, you brought up this thing. What if, like, you know, so you know the person crossing the street, right? Yeah. But what if you also are like, you know, the people in the car with you? They're all like, what are your best friends? And what would you do then? Who'd you have love more? You essentially have four best friends. You have three best friends with you in the car, and you have one of your best friends crossing the street. Mm. What would you do then? Because you can't just be like, well, if it's one of my best exactly. friends, then I'm and that's gonna, the thing. You that, can't do in, that. In that case, yeah, in that case, I would. Probably go. Yeah, so the, then it the comes group. down to the needs of the many. Then that's but here's the thing. Here's, like, the, yeah, the thing is, so you can't, you can't even it You like if I know the person, of course. If, if you that's, know the but that's person, the truth. I'll tell you the exact truth. Mm-hmm. The, the thing, because this movie, as the movie goes on, it might make you switch sides, regardless of what side of the field. So you have one movie, person you're going to torture, it. right? You know this person. You know this person really well that you can torture. If I know it, and yeah, if I know this person, but really you also well. know, you know, you know, in the world, there's people you know too. That your best friends are out in the world too. So what are you gonna be? You're gonna sacrifice them because you, this person's in the room with you right now. Are you gonna I, tell them that you're gonna sacrifice them to their face? Yeah. To save everybody yes. else. Because there's other people in the world. There's other people I know in the world. I so have okay, other family. So I have other friends. So so what if it? What if it's not that dire? Now what if there's a risk? Now what if the risk is fifty fifty? Saying, what do you hey, mean? In favor of what, though? Like, what do if, you mean? If you're saying, hey, 50 50, how? 50 50 is, is, hey, we can, don't worry, <clears> we can <throat> find this bomb in time. We don't need to torture him. What if the situation is like that? I'd find the bomb. Well, and the same question. Same question. Now you're going to torture this person that you know. Is okay. I'm talking about it, real it, torture. I'm talking about. Now you have to be like, okay. To watch. Now this the thing is like, okay. If, it's, and, and that's if it's the 50 50 odds, if you're like, if you know the person, you probably yeah. take the chance, right? If I don't know the person, I'd be like, well, and, and the, you know and that's what? The, Let's, I don't want to take this risk. I have family out there, buddy. Like, it's and that's the torture. morality yeah. of the, the basic morality of this movie is like, like, you know, who's evil here? Like, uh, the, the person that says, hey, we still got, we got to save these millions of people regardless. Or, you know, this is wrong. No one deserves this type of stuff. So I would definitely recommend this movie to everybody. Just like I said, just how we started going off with it, and I'm the only one that's seen it. Just imagine. Mm-hmm. This movie is really good. I definitely recommend it. It's out on Netflix. Unthinkable. Unthinkable. With Samuel Jackson and the hotness, Carrie Ann Moss. Good Lord. <laughs> that's it for my All right. week. Kitty. Close it down. All right. Uh, so for my week, I, I unintentionally kind of joined a band. Um, what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. So, so I have I uh, like two fr- well, uh, well they're both my friends, both from middle school that I've known since middle school, right? Mm-hmm. And like they're they're married to each other, right? So is this a Cure together. cover band? No, it's not. It's <laughs> it's a it's a like alternative metal band, and I like don't uh-huh. listen to metal that much, but I was like I like mentioned when I was hanging out with them, I was like, yeah, I have a bass, I kind of play, and then I was and they're like, oh should join the band like the guy was and mm-hmm. i was like um yeah i really suck like i barely grazed on it and i barely started playing against so, like eight years ago and then i was like it, it's like like i'm really bad like i'm very new and they're like no it's fine and then yeah so i went one time it was on friday and yeah i suck um <laughs> they're, they're okay with it though they're just like we're just looking for consistency because like I can learn, right? And still, yeah. So, As you go I, along, trying to indoctrinate yeah. yeah, you into their band. What? What's what's teaching? Yeah, they they are really good though. Like the um my friend from middle school, like the husband, he's really good. 
and like he's like teaching me what to do and stuff and I was like this is it was really cool and I was like wow I've never like imagined this in my life like that this would ever so, happen and it just went with the flow and I was like cool this is really fun so all you have to do is like start, band, start, start going to shows and get the masses to join your cult <laughs> what's the I name know, of the band right? um I don't know if they have a name and I don't know if they really play I think it might just like shows they might mm. just do it for fun I know that they've recorded stuff but he had they that's have how it stops but yeah. it's really that's fun that's cool though I, that's yeah. cool and then so yeah I'm doing that um I'm going so it hasn't happened yet but next weekend I will be in like New Jersey and then a little bit for New York as well I'm going to like IMAS I don't think you guys know what that is um, it's International Makeup Artist Trade Show. So it's like a makeup convention, you know? Like, Didn't you go to one before, like last year? I, I did. I went to the you exact same one. You mentioned it too one. on the podcast. Yeah. yeah, you mentioned it, yeah. Yeah, and so I'm going with the same girls. Like, So we're, we're trying to make it like a tradition, you know, like to go every girls year. Girls trip. And, yeah. yeah, and I'm like, this is the best, having <laughs> female friends. <laughs> um, because, yeah. So I'm gonna go there. I'll be there for a week. Also gonna get a tattoo. Um, Another one. Yeah. This is like the same thing you did last. <laughs> this is like the same thing. Like you got you did this thing. You got a tattoo. I was like, oh. Well, I mean, like the the thing I didn't get a tattoo then. It was in also in April. I didn't get my first tattoo till like last year in November. But mm. anyways, what, uh, what's it gonna be of now? Do you know or? Yeah, of course. It's gonna be. Um, from Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be the Amazon is queen if you want to look it up. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, um, I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be pretty le- big on my leg. Um, yeah. So there's that. What else was the other thing? Oh, okay. So I started. Um, I had. I guess I did kind of play, but it's been through share play. Um, I've been playing. I played it once, No Man's Sky. So we Ooh. were talking about this yesterday, right? About mm-hmm. how like shitty it was or whatever. But it's like it's really it's beautiful. First of all, super fun. it's kind it's kind of relaxing. The music is nice, and then you that's just what, it is. That's like, what me and Mez said, right, Mez? When you yeah. first when you first playing it, it was like, oh, it's like, like a it's like a it's relaxing a, game. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a, 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 you feel like you could actually live out in space and do what you're doing. It is. Stop. Really, and Minister? And how life. difficult is this game? <laughs> it's not that difficult. Can I, so can I, oh, it's not that difficult. It's that not is, that difficult. I'm in but it's, more, it's, so it's more difficult. It's more difficult than freaking Warframe. That's a damn show. Oh my- That's a damn lie. Well, I mean, it's, 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 it's meant to be a difficult game, though. It's meant to be like an exploration. It's not an action it's RPG. It's not an action adventure. It's still harder than Warframe. Warframe, you could beat that. Okay, eyes whatever. Go ahead, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> petty. <laughs> um, um, I was gonna say it is like Minecraft. You know, you you craft or you look for resources to make stuff. Except like Minecraft, I feel like had a few less steps to create stuff. This one has like mm. a lot. Like oh Hell my god, yeah, to yeah. build buildings and shit. I was like, god damn. Yeah, it is a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> and like, I remember, I went. I played when it first came out. I went back yeah. like a couple months after it came out. And, like, they yeah. added a bunch of new stuff, too. Yeah. yeah. I'm about to go back to it, to be honest. There's so much yeah. stuff to it. I wasn't expecting it. Because, I, you, like, on release, I heard that it was bad. So I was like, uh, you know, whatever. I'm not, I wasn't, like, looking that forward to it. So, but it's really cool. Um, I only played for, like, an hour, though. And then you can feed animals, okay? And they, like, be your friend. And they'll come back they, like, to you. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And I was like, this is the best. There's the hook. <laughs> And that I said like, the oh, iron. Kitty, it's not animals. Like, it's, it's aliens. You can feed aliens. exotic aliens even better. Oh my god. That's not, how she, that's not how she sees it. But they're so cute. And they're like, you, there's little baby ones too. And you can feed them. And one time I, I, I had iron. And I'm like trying to gather resources. And I gave them all my iron. Because I wanted to feed them. Oh my god. And then I had to go back and buy more stuff. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. It is so cute. Essentially, it's a mining and, game, but it's pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. When I first played it, I even I was like uh, playing it and streaming, and Zan was watching. I was telling him, it's like, it's a game you can easily, I could easily see like 
spending yeah. hours in and not realizing it because yes. you could just yeah. spend like a lot of times like exploring well, and like taking in that whole like setting but it's just yeah. there was there was not a lot to do when the, first, when the game first came out yeah and it's just that's just like minecraft where you're yeah. like hours disappear and you're just like what i feel like the biggest downfall of the game is it's uh the lack of multiplayer I feel like that would yep. add, oh. that would that add would be so a much to it. Perfect multiplayer. Oh. Like so, set up a base to conserve oxygen and all that good stuff. So my friend did show me that too, um, and it's really complicated. Like it takes a lot of time to get to like multiplayer and like getting close to someone. Like like you essentially create a portal, and then you like go across the portal to their planet or whatever. And it takes a lot of time. Like, yeah, I don't think he's even finished it. And so you have to have a friend already, too, to have their coordinates. And then they need your coordinates as well. Like, you already have to have friends to have the multiplayer, though. They just need to make a part two. Because yeah. the game was originally not designed to be multiplayer. It was going to be hard to shoot one of them. But, but to make a part two, that's multiplayer. Or just make it easier. Like, I want to do space hood rat things with my friends. Like, yeah. you know, I, I don't know. But it's pretty cool. Now I'm, like, considering getting it, and especially if you guys already have it, too, and we can get the multiplayer done. That'd be pretty cool. Anyways, that's kind of it for my week. Okay. Cool. All right, well, I guess that'll uh, wrap things up unless anybody has another little tidbit at the end here. I do have a have tidbit. Something. Oh, Minister this time. Yes. Is it Star Trek? Wait, is it Star Trek related? <laughs> no, you know I, I mean tidbit. I, I mean a tidbit. No, there's no this Star Trek. Tidbit. There's tidbit. no Star Trek. This is not going to lead to another long discussion. There's, okay. There's no Star Trek, no Death War. So I have a quote that I want to leave everybody with. Hmm. And okay. that is, it is only when a mosquito lands on your testicles that you realize there is always a way to solve problems without using violence. That's it. <laughs> Where is that from? Uh, it's actually a, a quote from, uh, damn, I forgot the guy's name, but it's like one of those uh, famous historians. Oh. Oh, damn, I can't remember. Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's like, <laughs> now, what would you try to quote, do in that situation? Yep, it's like you're gonna use violence, so you're gonna find a non-violent way <laughs> to solve this problem. <laughs> so, that's it. Let's go to share that. Okay. Part. All right. Well, Cheer that was a good you. one. <laughs> I like that. Okay. All right. Well, that would do it for us at uh, on the Ichiban Nonsense Podcast. I've been Bit W Zan, joined by Mez, Secret Kitty, and the mosquito bitten <laughs> testicle ridden <laughs> minister <laughs> so, uh, saying not saying goodbye forever just saying goodbye for now <laughs>